Welcome to Solvetic, your channel to always learn technology easily. Below in the description, you will find useful links and commands we used in this video. Today in Solvetic, we will see how to install OwnCloud on Windows. To start the Search Enter PowerShell, click Run as Administrator. After that, click Yes to access. Now run the command on the screen, this will enable the WSL feature. After this, enable the virtual machine platform, run the command on the screen. Next, enable the virtualization platform. Run the command you see in the console. Now set the version of WSL to use, in this case it is 2, use the command on the screen. Then download the kernel update. Use the command you see on the screen. Hey, remember to subscribe Sylvetic channel. After that, reset the preferences, use the on-screen command. Then install the update using the on-screen command. Pressing enter will open the wizard. When you have done this, open the Windows Store. After that, search for Ubuntu. Now click on Ubuntu 22.04, then press Install. Wait for this task to be completed. When finished, click open. You will see that the Ubuntu window opens. Now you have to wait for it to install. On PC where WLS has never been installed, you must register the username and password to use. Now update the system, run the command sudo apt update, press enter and then enter the password. After this apply the updates, use the command sudo apt upgrade, you will need to enter the Y letter. After this, install the package manager. Use the command sudo apt install wjet. After this, install the necessary utilities. Run the command on the screen. When you do this, install PHP. Remember that it must be version 
Run the command on the screen. Press enter and enter your administrator password. Then start the MariaDB service, run the command sudo service mariad start. Now it's time to add security to MySQL, run the command sudo mysql underscore secure underscore installation. In the different questions, answer based on the security needs of your PC. You can change the root password, disable remote access, and more. Then access miscale, run the command miscale u root p. After that, enter the assigned password. After that, enter the commands you see on the screen. These help you create the database, assign username and password, and apply these changes in MySQL. After this, download the latest version of OwnCloud. Run the command on the screen. After this, extract the content. To do this, use the command on the screen. Now assign the appropriate permissions. Run the command on the screen. Next, let's create a new configuration file. Run the command on the screen. Now in this file, copy and paste the information you see in the video description. To save these changes, use the Ctrl plus O keys. To exit the editor, use the Ctrl plus X keys. Now enable the own cloud configuration by running the command sudo a 2 n site own cloud. Then enable the Apache modules, run the command on the screen. Finally, restart the Apache service, run the command sudo service apache2 restart. For own CLUD to work on Windows, open the desired browser from the terminal, in this case run google-chrome. In the browser enter http colon linux ip slash own cloud. You must create the administrator user and its respective password. After that, at the bottom, record the data that was created in MySQL. When you have registered this data, click Finish Setup. You must wait for the configuration to finish. After that, log into own cloud on Windows.
We hope it has been helpful for you. Here are links to watch more videos of your interest and subscribe to the Solvetic channel. Thank you.